Do you ever just have that thing? You know, it's sitting around the shop for months. You don't know what to do with it. Yeah. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Wake and Make. Today, we'll be doing a wood turner's classic and making a twig pot, also known as a weed pot, also known as a small little vase. We'll be using a piece of wood that I rescued from my fire uh, fire pile. Mushrooms and all, stabilize it in cactus juice resin. I'll be casting it in some resin, drilling a hole in the top, and turning it into a little vase. Stick around. It's gonna be fabulous. So it's been about a week since I last worked on this project. Uh, basically, well, since I last filmed me working on this project, basically I ran into some problems. Um, I did fix it. I'm going to show you. One second. So here's what we got. I came out here the other day, the next morning, and basically... As you notice, I only filled the resin up to like a quarter of an inch below the log right at the top of my mold or Tupperware container. My mistake was not completely covering the log. A hole busted out right, let's see if we can see it, right in here. That went all the way to the bottom and as you can see there's a few little holes here I tried putting I, I didn't even film it I was I was discouraged I was my heart was broken I literally stared at this this log for half a year thinking about what I was gonna make out of it and it just looked like this you see that look like that all the way Whew. I attempted to fix it, it didn't work, and then I thought to myself, what if I just put some tape on the top of this, fill it back up with some clear resin, and just see what happens, and I was able to fill up almost half the hole. Probably would have filled up the whole thing if I hadn't tried to fix it before. It still works. 
the mushrooms on the log are to the top and the vase was planning on spinning this way and this will be the top so I can off center this a little bit right in the center here I'm actually gonna have to turn it right into the container just for YouTube because I really don't even know how else I'm gonna get this out of there at this point so I'll turn it off um, I'm gonna use the center here and that's gonna leave the top of the vase and we're just gonna be cutting all that out so I wanted to get this on camera now because we are bringing this project back from the dead and I'm glad you didn't have to witness the harshness of it all. All right, the big day is here. Um, I did drill a hole in the center. I was gonna set it up with a mandrel, but I think I'm gonna go with safety first and use the face plate. Here's the part where I tell you how incredibly nervous and excited I am. I'm gonna have to get this off of here, try to take that easy. I'm gonna clean up the end, drill a tenon with my Forstner bit, clean that up, and reverse the whole thing. Um, see what happens. got most of it off. I'm gonna get this part off here and try not to hurt myself. Turn it way down. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Won't make your shop teacher too proud, but I got it off. I'll clean it up. First time we get to see inside there. There'll be a few bubbles left right here in the middle. But the rest of all this we're going to take out. I'm trying to get this side here like perfect. I'm gonna um, put my recessed tenon in it, flip it over. I'm probably gonna actually sand a bit of this too before I flip it over.
I got sanded pretty good to about right here. And this is where I'll be holding. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. In the center here of the wood, you can kind of see that it didn't quite all stabilize. And we have some hard center wood right there, so that happens sometimes, but it's the bottom. We'll see what the top looks like and keep rolling with it. Get some bark right in here. I think it's going to turn out really good. Pretty cool. The pink definitely came out really well on this side. I have the space between the screw holes and this hole to make the top of my vase or stick pot or whatever you call them. Still a little stuff in there. I'm gonna clean up this area right here. Uh, make the, the hole nice and round again. Had a little chip out and get rid of the screw holes. like after here we're good we're just at the last bit of bark from the air uh, the air bubble bark bark air bubble yes bark air bubbles right here that's where they were um, still getting a little bit of chip out but you know I'll clean it up as I go along and just slow down the cutting
ingredients are mushroom log twig pot. And basically you just put like a pussy willow or something, some feathers. It's kind of a dream come true for me. I've been thinking about how to do this since I learned about casting, how to make the mushrooms and the wood all together. Thank you so much for watching Wake and Make. I love you. Please subscribe. Please leave me a comment. Tell me how you think. What, what do you think about this beautiful little pot I made? I mean, personally, I have a few opinions about it. A, it took me a really long time, and B, I kind of wish I kept it a little more clear. But me and those colors, I just get a little carried away. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And to Fluss Capacitor, from Reading, Pennsylvania. Thank you so much for letting me use your music. You guys are amazing. You're a staple in this community. And to all you out there, they do get around quite a bit. So follow them, like them, follow them on YouTube, Facebook, and they'll probably come around and boogie up your area. Peace and love. Blessings. It really magnifies the log. It's kind of cool, and those bubbles definitely, hey, just like anybody else that gets those bubbles, you learn to love them.